more! Hey Cyrus. That place where we go to train. Does it actually exist? To me it does. Can you take me there someday? Someday. I've been teaching you how to fight, but you decide when to fight. Remember that. It was a very special project, and uh, we just want to talk a little bit about how it came together, and um, you know why is it special for us. I started working out with Brandon, and I had this idea with him, like let's make a project together. And I know Wes has been wanting to do some action for a long time. And I know how creative his mind is. And I was like, Brandon, do you think Wes would be interested in doing, you know, an action piece? I was sure you'd be into it because, you know, he does like sci-fi stuff. And I felt like this would be a perfect unit to kind of put that project together. When we met up, I, I actually thought you guys had a story in mind. <laughs> but, but you didn't. So. Yeah, no, we didn't have anything. So it was just like, Wes, we just... You know, we, we trust you, just like, let's let's make something. Whatever you want to do, like, we're down. If we're gonna do something, let's 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 build a little bit of a world, mm -hmm. let's set a scene. I think we really wanted to just put together, not just a really cool action piece, but we wanted to have heart in it too, and you know, not just be like a, like a punch em up kind of film. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I think we, we accomplished that really well. We had almost like a brother, exactly. a brotherly dynamic between us, and that was totally what we were going for. And I'm really glad that we had Wes in this to kind of like guide us along because we all met up over Boba. We were just like sipping on scene. Me and Noah were just like throwing ideas, and we're like, yo, like we should we should be apocalyptic, and we blah blah. blah and we're throwing ideas at him, and Wes kind of just like refined it down and made it into like the more streamlined story that you and I were saying. I know that we could go much bigger, but we only had a very limited time, so it's kind of like a glimpse, a hint of what you guys are. Yeah. Yeah. I wish we could go into it further. On top of your main characters, there are two others. One is Ritesh, he plays the maker, and then we have Brittany Ishibashi playing the client. I thought it was really cool seeing his character come to life because as soon as he comes in, he completely changes the vibe. Do you think I've gone too far, Cyrus? I think the maker kind of adds a, uh, a very kind of mysterious, unknown element, dangerous element, yeah. uh, outside of kind of the physical danger that you guys will uh, see and enjoy. Tesh, I imagined as kind of like an arms dealer, yeah. and um, he creates these beings um, for basically the highest bidder. And Brittany is that highest bidder. We don't really know whose side she's on in terms of this world of human and android. What I have come for is an instrument that will ensure a future some may consider unwelcome. Do you have it? Brittany, uh, it's interesting because we worked with her first on our feature film with Brandon. Yeah, this uh, reunion was so funny because like the first time I saw her, she was this super like positive and jovial lady and really friendly. She was my manager in the coffee shop that I worked at yeah. for everything before us. And then she came back around as this really sinister, intense lady. Playing with the power struggle with each introduction of a character was something that I wanted to do. Teacher, right. student, but right. then when Tesh comes in, then you become kind of like his underling. Yeah, He's like then I slow right? down. Yeah. <laughs> and then when cli the client comes in, Brittany, it's right. like, okay, now this is the person that ultimately right. calls the shots because she has all the money and he's yeah. working for her. A lot of alpha personalities one-upping each mm -hmm. other as they go through, yeah. yeah. It was really interesting to feel that dynamic on set. Something that's new for Wang Fu um, is the amount of stunt work that was in this, yeah. right? And, and choreography. I yeah, don't think like, physically I've ever been pushed that much in oh. terms of the fight choreography, just because cool. we had such limited time and there were so many fights back to back and I was just like, this is a lot yeah. of choreo. <laughs> The effort that was put into it really showed through in the character because I was like actually done. Special shout out to Christopher Choi. Um, he was a stunt coordinator for this. And for those of you guys that don't know, like the job for the stunt coordinator, number one is safety first. He really makes sure that everybody on set respects the space of the performers, making sure that our movements are clean. And it's great working with somebody that's such a professional because he just, he, he kind of gives us a blank slate. He's like, okay, here's a skeleton of what I'd like to see. And because we're both martial artists, we can just add on that. 
Can we talk about that moment he he like hit the concrete on his back? Yeah. He did like ten takes. This is the big like fall of our second fight, um, so we gotta be really careful. We got pads inside his jacket, so movie magic. That's a professional right Such there, guys. Such a professional. <laughs> What? What? Cut. Cool. Good job, guys. How you feel? Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Our good friend Tommy yeah. um, came into DP for us, and that was really exciting because we've known Tommy for a long time, and he shoots all your action stuff. Yeah, Tommy is my boy. Yeah. So he shoots all my action stuff for our team for Os Films through Formula Arts. Tommy's very capable with the gimbal, which is not something we're usually doing. So oh, that camera movement. Yeah, oh, it, it was yeah. nice to <laughs> see us all come together and complete this. Right, yeah. I think once we found the location, it like amplified yeah. the writing, the action choreography, like it amped everything and to another level. And the acting, because you really feel like, okay, I'm in this yeah. world, because yeah. it definitely right. feels otherworldly. Right. It was like a like sci-fi lab yeah. warehouse. Yeah. And we wanted to make the most use of that space, so having the different color changes, kind of signifying a different um, area of this complex. The location actually became a character itself, mm -hmm. thanks to Kenson Lee. Yeah. Um, Kenson. Kenson's a great Jeez. friend. Um, amazing visual effects artist, uh, motion designer. In the script, it's just written as transition to simulation room. But um, Kenson really took it to the next level and made this beautiful transition with these lights that come down, atmosphere, grid and everything. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think that really just ties everything together. Yeah. Crazy. The space was already so cool, then he just made it insane. It really yeah. blew my mind the first time I saw it. We also want to acknowledge Joe Sanders' music. This was my first time working with Joe, but you have before, right? I've worked with him for the past three to four years. Like, he does all of my music for our channel. Yeah. yeah. And um, I remember him coming on very early. Um, he read the script and he came to some of the practices and he was on board right away. The first pass he came through was just like out of this world. You could tell that there's a real passion for this genre because, um, you know, he did it so quickly and it was exactly like what we needed. Hope you enjoyed Trace. I didn't actually talk about why it's, <laughs> it's called, called Trace. <laughs> yeah. It's never said in the short, but it's really based on that last moment. Cyrus, your character, mm -hmm. is, is looking for any trace of his his best friend in this right. in this body because he's been like under this control. So it's a very loose title. It's kind of like an ode or a love letter to the the action sci-fi flicks that we love to yeah. watch. Yeah. And you know, it's hard to make them. It's it's really hard. It takes a lot of people a lot of time um, and a lot of energy. When we have the chance to do it, you know, why not? Hope you guys enjoyed that and thanks for sitting down and kind of hearing us explain a little bit about what behind it and the story. Make sure you guys follow these guys' socials because they got a lot of stuff coming up. Hope you guys enjoyed that as much as we enjoyed making it. Thank you guys. Bye.